Hey guys, welcome back to the video chat project series with Golang. And up till now, we have done quite a bit. And let's do a quick direction check and then move forward. So the two most important folders here in this project are the internal folder and the package folder. Internal folder has handlers and server. Package has chat and WebRTC. Now server has the server.go file, which is the most important file. This is the heart of this entire project, where we basically are enlisting all of our routes. And to handle these routes, we need handler functions, which we need to create here for chat, room, stream, welcome. So we have, for welcome, we have set it up, but for stream, room, uh, room is very incomplete. For stream, is the zero, for chat, there's zero. So we wanna, you know, start building those handlers, right? So that's that should be our main priority. Now, after we've, we're done with the handlers, the actual uh, code, the actual uh, logic basically stays in the package folder. So the logic for chat, which is two files, client and hub. Both of them are complete. The chat part was easier, so that's why we have done the chat part very easily. So that uh, the, the logic for chat stays here, right? The write pump and uh, the read pump, those, those that, that whole logic that we've built till now is there. And uh, the entire logic for WebRTC is what we are supposed to build. So the room file and the stream file, both of them are completely empty, almost like room file is almost empty. We have to build a lot of logic here for peers. Now, the plan for the next three videos is in the next three videos, the first video, which is today's video, we'll do the chat handlers. In the next video, we'll do the room handlers. Uh, we'll complete this file. And the, the video after that, we'll do the stream handlers. So at least in the next three videos, we'll take care of all the handlers. And what I'll do is I won't, um, what I've been trying to do here is that the prog project is quite big. And I've been trying to explain it in a way that uh, it will make, it's very easy for you to follow along but what happens is uh, let's say I start building something like this like you know uh, the server.go file and then when I see something here then I think you know uh, so that you don't get confused what I do is I actually start building that part but what happens ends up happening is that it may end up confusing you rather than clarifying the picture for you now the logical way to approach is to build uh, let's say the handlers first and then talk about the logic now we've built the chat logic which is awesome and only the the video logic is left so what we'll do is we won't touch the video logic till now what we'll do is we'll just touch these three files and we'll complete those three handlers and uh, once we've done this right and and because we'll be we'll be calling many functions that don't exist because we have to build those functions in the webrtc logic right so we'll be calling many functions that don't exist so please don't panic please don't uh, you know get confused just know that we're calling those functions now but those functions don't exist and they will exist once we build this logic so i just want you to be patient for the next three videos till the time we build these three handlers and then we'll just work with the logic for webrtc so i hope that is out of the way and this is uh, so I, I was trying to find the most effective way to show this project because it's it's big, it's confusing, and it has a lot of concepts. So that's why I wanted to find the right way. And I think I've kind of cracked the right way. Now, I'm uh, I'm a developer, not uh, an instructor by trade, right? I'm, I'm a developer, I'm, I'm a hands-on engineer. So it is difficult for me to, uh, you know, bring this knowledge in a, in a format to so that everybody can understand, right? Um, I'm, I'm, I was struggling in the, in the beginning, but now I think I have the hang of it and I'm getting better at also teaching, not just building stuff, but also teaching how to build stuff, all right? So it's, it's an evol evolving process. I mean, you know, I hope you understand. I'm also evolving as a person. So now I've found the right way, which I think will work. Okay, so let's, like having said all of that, uh, let's get started. Uh, and in, in case you, you guys know how to do this, you know, if you know how to break this down project in a, in a better way, let me know uh, in, in the comments. I will improve on that. You know, I, I take feedback from you guys and I try to improve, you know, right? That's how it works. <coughs> so in case you think that there's, you know, there are more things I need to do, uh, com I'm completely open. Like you can, you know, you can be as honest as, as you want. <laughs> I'm always ready to uh, improve. Okay, so the, we're starting with the, with the chat handlers now, okay? Uh, in the server.go file, you already know that we have called many uh, functions from, you know, the, the handler functions, but we now have to create those handler functions. So we add this in package handlers. Package handlers, because all of these files will belong to the package handlers. That's how Golang is structured. We'll have stuff to import. Uh, we, we'll have a part to import some stuff, like, uh, you know, some libraries and all that. Uh, then, most importantly, we'll have our room chat function right so 
chat is just the chat part like there is there's a video call going on we have not touched we have not built the logic for that but we've built the logic for the chat part so what we're doing now now is basically uh, writing the handlers for chatting you know how you chat with other people so you have fiber dot context so for the room chart uh, room chat sorry we'll return c dot render chat comma fiber dot map and layouts slash main now we have not worked on layouts as well uh, we've not worked much at least on uh, view layouts but main main.html is, is a file that exists but uh, view and layouts is something that i plan to do at the very very end when everything is ready i hope that's also okay with you guys because i feel that um, you know you might like i'm building it in html you might want to build it in uh, in react uh, the, the front end that's completely okay and i'll show you how to build it in html but i i want to do it after the backend is ready i mean i don't want to you know like confused by putting too many things on on the plate right now uh then you have the function for room chat web socket which will be web socket dot connection and you'll refer to it with this variable c and uh then finally <coughs> Finally, the function you'll have is stream chat web socket. Just again, web socket dot connection. All right. So let's now complete these two functions. And the first function, the room chat web socket, you will start with the UUID for the using UUID. So we'll we'll once we'll import this, I yeah, once we save this, uh, it should have got the UUID for me, but I'll I'll get it my uh, anyways on my own. So here we'll check if the UUID is empty. We will return. And we'll say rooms lock dot lock for the chat room. And you'll check the rooms UUID. Each room has its own UUID, which we have already talked about in the in the chat section. In the chat logic, we already talked about that. And we'll check if the room is nil, then you just return. You can't do much. Room hub is nil, then also you'll return. And finally, you'll call this function chat.peer chat connection. C dot connection, comma room dot hub is what you'll pass here. Okay. So when I save this, right, it got me the video package chat, which is basically package and chat. And here basically somewhere is your function for peer chat connection. So in case you want to check it out, you just go here and you search it and you get that that function is in your uh, client.go file, right? So that function already exists. Coming back here. You'll say stream chat web socket and here you will say s uuid c dot params s uuid s uuid is empty you return yeah so we're checking the params right uh for uuid and s uuid for for the stream we have s uuid and for the room we have uuid so if it's the, we're doing the same thing basically if it's empty then you return if it's uh, and then we'll say uh, w dot rooms lock dot unlock and again we'll check just like we checked here room dot hub is equal to nil we'll say we'll check stream dot hub is equal to nil we will say hub is equal to chat dot new hub 
and we'll say stream dot hub is equal to hub and <coughs> hub dot run <coughs> this is the next line finally chat dot peer chat connection you pass there c dot connection and stream dot hub return and finally uh, after return we were supposed to uh, close this off so after this we have return and then um, okay so I I have missed one line I've missed one line which is this all all of this basically needs to be inside if stream comma okay dot streams s u i d so we following comma okay and here it's a w dot rooms lock dot unlock Essentially, the W here is uh, the WebRTC. So, what we'll say is W is video chat slash packet slash WebRTC. This entire logic, right? Which we which we have not built uh, as of now. Okay. And uh, here, this the rooms unlock will happen at this stage and here you'll get a rooms lock so you'll just copy this paste and you'll say rooms lock dot lock okay and you're essentially starting off a new hub okay you're creating a new hub and you're running that hub and uh, here also and here also you're creating a peer chat connection so in your client.go file when you look at peer chat connection it essentially creates a new client and starts registering that on the hub and then you get all the write pump and the read pump once the so what, what happens is when when you when let's say uh, somebody enters the chat room right you have to get all the chat that's happened before and that's what happens you get the complete write pump and the read pump uh, all of that happens as soon as somebody joins the chat and that's what we've done basically here we've checked if uh, you know the the room id that they're joining rooms lock unlock all of that logic and creating a new hub for them in case it's required right if the stream hub is nil then you create a uh, new hub for them otherwise you and and essentially what you're doing is uh, calling the peer chat connection function so with this the chat.go file is complete and in the next video we'll take a look at the room.go handlers and they they're going to call uh, like i said some functions uh, in the WebRTC package, which we have not built yet, but don't worry about that, right? Uh, we will build all of that. Even for the chats to happen, um, they need to know about the rooms, and the rooms are basically being created with the help of WebRTC. And this is why we need the WebRTC logic. Uh, but we'll build it after we've built the handlers, right? So, uh, even in a regular program, right? You build the main.go file, then you build the server, then you build the handlers, and then you build the logic. Uh, now so that you know so that there's no confusion what I tried to do was I tried to build the logic also along with the handlers But that wasn't working out really well up till now. I, I hope many of you have been able to follow along this series uh, I have felt that It's quite possible that some of you are confused and that's what I'm trying to correct now uh, That you know, I probably shouldn't have shown you the logic before building the handlers But then what, what also happens is that if I build the handlers uh, right like right now just what we just did then you do can get confused that where is the room lock and lock lo logic happening because that's supposed to be in the in the web rtc so like i said you know for now just go along with me just go along with the whole thing we'll build the handlers first then we'll build the logic but you know what's going to happen in the logic you know that since you've seen the chat logic you know you have an idea that there's a hub and there's a read pump and write pump and similar stuff is going to happen in the video uh, side as well Thanks a lot for watching up till now and in the next videos we'll build more things will get clearer again uh, you know as we go further 
So uh, thank you for watching. Do subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, see you in the next video.